Hey guys, welcome back. This is Matt Shit, episode 474, uh, featuring a long overdue look at the game Atta. Now, you might remember I interviewed the developer uh, a couple of years ago. It seemed like yesterday. Uh, but anyway, I never did get around to actually playing uh, the game properly, so I, that's what I've done here in this video. Uh, I'm going to show you the first couple hours of that. And then hopefully between now and the next video, I'll have time to play uh, through the game and then be able to show you the true to grade. Uh, standalone used to be the expansion, then it became its own game. Basically a sequel uh, to it next time. Uh, but anyway, I had a great time with this game, and if you missed it with all the stuff going on between then and <laughs> between now and 2018, if it got uh, swept under the radar somehow, I think you'll really appreciate uh, you know this video because you definitely want to check out this game. <laughs> it's got, if for no other reason than to see yours truly get into the most uh, shall we say, aggravating, a uh, fight with a rat <laughs> I've ever had to deal with in any game. I mean, just, just trust me on that. <laughs> uh, anyway, it came out in 2018 of December, um, of course, by Adam Team. Uh, anyway, we've got a lot to cover here, so without further ado, here is Atom. So here's the game I'll be playing uh, today, Atom RPG Post-Apocalyptic Indie Game or maybe Dead City, I'm not sure there's a subtitle there now. Uh, but this is a game that, as you can see, is uh, probably, see anyway, very much inspired by the Fallout uh, Wasteland series. It plays uh, a little bit like, if, if you play Wasteland 2 and 3, I think you'll be right at home, or of course if you played the original Fallout games. Uh, but the big trick, uh, or the big spin, I guess, that we'll see is that this is from a, uh, a team that's actually, yeah, there's a picture of them, and I had one of the developers on, Anton, back in 2018. Wow, it's really been <laughs> that long. <laughs> uh, but these guys are from Poland, Ukraine, Russia, and Latvia. And so it's a multinational game, what do they call it? Indie Development Studio. Uh, so it's a really cool team, really cool concept. But they're giving you that Fallout series, or the sort of post-apocalyptic uh, setting, but this is from the Soviet... Uh, perspective, which I think is really cool. You know, I don't know about you, but I find all that old uh, propaganda and Cold War stuff and the old bunkers and you know, just all that old Soviet Union stuff just kind of intrinsically interesting on its own. You know, it'd be fascinating to explore some of that. Uh, but then to have a great game, you know, you know, Fallen Out style game on top of that, you know, it just sounds like a real winning combo to me. Uh, so my plan is. Uh, I'll play the uh, first game this video, and maybe the next time we'll look at this Atom RPG True Grad, which is the started off as an expansion to this game, but they, I guess, got a little carried away, so they decided to make it its own standalone adventure. Now, a little uh, behind the scenes, I tried to make, been, I've been trying the past couple of weeks to make a match chat about this True Grad game, but I just found I just could not do it. <laughs> I needed to play the first game before trying to do Trudeau Grad. At least that's my experience. Uh, it just wasn't working. So rather than just keep on uh, you know, banging my head against a brick wall, like, come on, let's just play the, uh, the first game, give this one a real good play, uh, and then maybe save the Trudeau Grad for the next video. Uh, so that's a little behind uh, the scenes info here. Uh, anyway, you can pick this up. 15 bucks you get uh, you might as well go ahead and pick up the bundle it's not very much more to get uh this game and true to grad and was it 23 bucks there so i guess a little bit more but you know if you like this game which you probably will you're going to want to have that next one eventually and the cool thing is you can take your character uh, just like in the old days you can take your character from this game and migrate uh him or her into that new uh New game, True Grad. So it's, that's, I always love doing that. Another good reason to play the first game first. Uh, anyway, uh, I don't want to wait another week to get this out, so I'm going to limit myself to two hours. Just going to play the first two hours of the game, and just at that point, we'll stop the video, I'll give you my thoughts on it, uh, and then we'll move on. Uh, so anyway, that's the plan. Let's get the game uh, up and running, and I'll see you soon. All right, so here we go. I'm already liking it. <laughs> A little VHS. <laughs> yes, are you getting a Fallout vibe? The year our world turned to ashes. The atomic flame unleashed by the leaders of the East and West, like a genie from its bottle, circled the globe in a mer minute and devoured. 
devoured it to the bone. Ah, uh, Ronald Reagan. Without sparing neither the innocent nor the guilty, without naming a victor to the bloody war, a nuclear blaze destroyed everything in its path, including the reasons for the conflict that sent the remnants of humanity back into the Dark Ages, back into the primeval state with no government, no technology, no culture, and no morals. Nineteen years have passed from the day of the Great Purge. Both once glorious empires and their loyalists now lie in ruins. And listen, like he said, and their lawyers. <laughs> new civilizations start to rise up to the unforgiving sun. From the rusted, radioactive derelict of the old world, new entered states, both brave and wild emerge to join the never-ending battle for the right to exist on the planet, mutilated beyond recognition by the flames of the apocalypse. So there you go, fairly straightforward story. I like that. <laughs> yeah. All right, Alexa, two hours. All right, Alexa's counting down, so hopefully this game will impress us within that time window. I like the opening. That cinematic was good. Although I have to say, I watched the one for Trudeau Grad, and it kind of blows that one away. But anyway, uh, you know, so far it's definitely given me that Fallout vibe. The good Fallouts 1 and 2. Some of my favorite games of all time. As well as uh, Wasteland 2 and 3, which I also think are very good games. All right, let's uh, go ahead and get her going here. So we've got some characteristics, some skills, some summaries and distinctions. A very, very special, <laughs> should I say, not a special uh, role-playing game system. They clearly wanted, you know, it's kind of an interesting story, isn't it? Uh, you know, with the fallout, they wanted to use GURPS and ended up having to do their own system. Uh, they became special. S-P-E-C-I-A-L. Uh, and these guys, obviously, they couldn't just copy special, so again, they kind of done their own thing. So it's fun. You get a lot of creativity uh, here as well. You know, I love the perks and everything in that Fallout series. and They're calling them distinctions here, but you still you know, have quite a bit to choose from. You know, I always love the idea, too. It, it adds a good role-playing element to it, you know, to think about your character as being, you know, a child prodigy or uh, what else do we have here? Slick Dealer or Black Belt. You know, these are all ooh, <laughs> Morphine Doctor. Uh, but the idea is that, you know, there's something good, but there's also something kind of bad that you got to take with the good. So it's very, very realistic. So let's see. Got some character pictures to choose from. And again, thinking ahead about, you know, you might take this character all the way through this game and into the True to Grad. So it'd be worth spending some time, <clears throat> you know, making sure you like your character. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> Archom. Zoe. Uh, I guess these are just pictures. Ah, eh, Milos is okay. I don't see any long-haired dudes. Come on. Does he have a, his hair tucked into his... <laughs> I like the mustache. <laughs> Dimitri, you go with him. Uh, okay, then we've got these characteristics here, and it it's a... Uh, I like that they kind of tell you... I don't know if you can see that in the corner there. It says average IQ, average attention. So if I start bumping these up, you can see now he's fit. Now he's in great shape. So it kind of gives you, if you didn't know, the, the scale. I guess it goes up to 10. <laughs> Vasily Alex Alexiev. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of the references are going to go woo, right over the old head because... Uh, I'm not from Eastern Europe. I am from Minnesota, though, so I can relate to some extent, at least in terms of climate. All right, let's see. What do we want to do? Uh, I kind of like the idea of... Uh, you know, one of the, I was thinking about playing the Fallouts and Wastelands and all that, and I've never really done much with submachine guns and pistols. So I thought it might be fun to kind of build a character around that. 
thinking kind of a Clint Eastwood type in that uh, Fistful of Dollars, you know what I'm talking about? So that's the kind of character I want to kind of got in mind. I'll see if I can create something like that here. Uh, a little bit of Mad Max, though, of course. So let's see. Uh, well, I think luck is definitely something uh, that I want. Personality might be important, but... Uh, <laughs> you know what they say, you know, about characters. Well, this character's got a good personality. Uh, attention, I think this is basically perception. It says it governs accuracy, which that's important to me. Intellect, also critical. Dexterity is lockpicking and theft as well as dodge. It actually does quite a bit of stuff. So it, it's kind of hard to pick that last point. I think I might put it into tension just to give myself a little bit more of an edge uh, with my ranged weapons. And then down here we've got 20 points. Let's pop it into pistols. I really want to be good with pistols. Now, <clears throat> I have been playing that Trudeau grad game a lot, so when you when you pop this up to 50 and that, you get like a little tier of abilities or uh, extra bonuses. I don't see that here. I guess they want to keep things a little simpler uh, in this first game. But that, you know, again, something to think about. Uh, trying to get to 50 eventually in some of these. So let's see, martial arts, melee weapons, rifles and shotguns, automatic firearms, throwing weapons, speech craft. You know, it might be more important in this game than you'd realize. Might pop it to 40. Gambling. Now I'm curious to see, I, I'm going to keep talking about Trudograd because I've just been playing that, but there's an Arco Mage or a, what is it, Gwent in Witcher. There's a card game that's really fun. A lot of fun, actually, in Trudograd. I don't know if it's in this game or not. But that uses this gambling skill. Uh, I believe it does. Could be wrong about that. All of these uh, will come into play in the dialogues. Let's go ahead and do some survival. I'm running out of points already. Uh, the lock picking was giving me problems before, so I'll go ahead and. Plug. I, I don't think they've got. I don't remember seeing tinkering in the other game. I, I don't know if it's even there. All right, then in terms of distinctions, again, trying to channel Mad Max meets Clint Eastwood. What was he called in those Fistful of Dollars? He's got a name. Hang on. I guess he's just called the Man with No Name. I thought he had a like a nickname, but anyway. He's definitely not a doctor, not an engineer, not a glutton. I don't think he's from the circus. Cursed Sniper. An old gypsy cursed you for shooting her pet cow. Pet crow. Pet, you know, that sounds a little bit like something that would have happened to the man with no name. Uh, it's going to kill his luck score, though, or sequence. 10% ordinary shot chance. That's, you know, Lone Wolf, I think, will work. And I'm not even sure if you can have, well, it says you can be accompanied. So I don't know if this is a, I guess you get some characters, some NPCs to join you eventually. Uh, leader, diplomat, ascetic. Slick Dealer, Savage Hunter. You never got into the habit of bathing or shaving regularly. That sounds like our boy. Technophobe. Child Prodigy. Sex Appeal. Cannibal. No. Hobby Engineer. You love to tinker. Yeah, maybe. I'm kind of thinking this cursed... Oh, Shooting Gallery fan. You used to spend all your spare time at the shooting gallery where you tried out all sorts of weapons. I think that'll fit the bill. So we will lose some melee, some endurance, but we get some nice perks to our guns. Okay, I'm satisfied with this. Uh, clothes kit. Now what is this? Action hero. Sleeveless shirt and army pants. I guess they couldn't afford to show us. <laughs> a good old sweater, jacket, green military jacket, sleeveless shirt and army pants. Probably... Oh, I don't know. Let's just go Traveler. Alright, it's on normal difficulty. That's probably good. Alright, let's get going! Atom! What in the hell am I looking at? You have a peculiar dream. 
Now we'll say I don't know. We'll be I'll be looking for this in this game because I Trudograd is it has so much dialogue in it. Uh, I literally run out of breath. My throat was gone trying to read it all <laughs> out loud. <laughs> so I'll, I'll read a little bit of this, but if it gets too heavy, I'm just gonna have to uh, expect you to read it on your own because uh, you know again otherwise I'll run out of voice. <laughs> I'm already starting to. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we'll see how far we go. Uh, red stars glow in the sky and giant. You know, when I see this much dialogue, I think, man, somebody's getting paid by the word. All right. Red stars glow in the sky and giant mushrooms rise to the heavens. Sounds like a Mario game. As horn shadows dance at the edge of an ancient forest, suddenly darkness falls. The images are eclipsed within a black void as it surrounds you. As it billows closer and closer like impenetrable smoke, as it oh. sent its fragment, <laughs> it made me go all English professor on you. Uh, as it rubs against your body, like a cat, full stop. It is soothing, calming before devouring you. Ah! Now wait a minute. When you actually input ah, you just say it. <laughs> you swallow a thick a lump of saliva. Yum. And look around frantically. You know, I gotta say, I'm already, I'm loving this interface. You know, it's very, again, really striking that right chord for me with the Fallout vibe and the Cold War and everything. Uh, I think they made some improvement. I'm not gonna mention Trudeau Grad again. <laughs> I'm just gonna focus on this game. You'll see nothing unusual. You see nothing unusual. You're in the barracks for agents about to be deployed on field work. A man is standing near you. He looks worried. Having nightmares, huh, Cadet Dimitri? Every yesterday's, even yesterday's storm didn't wake you up. Right, right. Take all the rest you can before the mission. What is my mission? That will be disclosed during the final briefing. Come on, soldier, shape up. Fine, fine. Where are you supposed to be, though? Agent Alf of the Honey Eaters Brigade. You know, I'm not sure how much of this game. I understand it's been translated, I, I think, from Russian, I'm pretty sure. And I know that it makes a lot of references to things that, again, go over my head. Uh, but I kind of think that adds to the charm. You know, I was thinking a, a while ago how in the Fallout series, the whole thing's supposed to be basically a simulation or training program. You're sitting at a computer somewhere in this bunker playing this thing. Uh, I was thinking about the same concept for this game, uh, except it's a Soviet program. Uh, so, of course, it's going to have uh, the same sorts of uh, grammatical and you know, stylistic and references to things uh, that you'd have. So, basically, I try to sort of role-play it into the game to, to make it a little bit more uh, uh, fitting and charming. You, know, same, you, you do what you got to do, right? But it works for me. Let's see, where can I tell? So it looks like we're doing the old amnesia routine. You pulling my leg? This is ground level of Atom HQ. Let me guess. Next you're going to ask what year it is and what sort of war we had 20 years ago. You know, if you've ever studied the, <laughs> the history of the Soviet Union, there's some great courses from the, uh, I think it's called Wondrium now, or the Great Courses Plus. But, I mean, that stuff is just absolutely fascinating. Hope that they learn some of it in this game. Uh, you sure you didn't take something to help you sleep last night, comrade crackhead? <laughs> it's 2005. <laughs> First, let's get some food into your system. There's some biscuits on the table. Knock yourself out on those biscuits. No soup for you, though. It's pretty... It was pretty crap. <laughs> Oh my God. You know, I had a friend from Russia, good friend back in college, man. He was always struggling, like, with curse words. He'd always put him in weird places like this. He said, that that music is suck. He would say things like that all the time, crack us up. Uh, so this is definitely feeling, feeling genuine to me. See, there's a biscuit on the table. Hold off to highlight it. All right. I want the biscuit on the table. Oh, is it not going to show me the label? You took the biscuit. 
Now press I, or the interface button, picture on the left, to open your inventory. Now I have found with this game you really do need to read these things, because if you don't, <laughs> you might miss something important. So definitely read it in the inventory screen, hold the right mouse button on the picture of the biscuit, and choose to eat it. Okay, you got all that. Boom. There's the biscuit. Ordinary Army Biscuit. Okay, right click on it, and you gotta hold the you gotta hold the button down. Use. Alright, I ate the biscuit. Let's get out of the barracks first. Okay. What did he Did I miss something? <laughs> Am I supposed to do more than eat the biscuit? Oh. Uh, show hide. Alright, let's just leave the room maybe. You yawn as you enter the next room and stop before a closed door. <laughs> you know, just a little a little a little advice, you know, don't ever have a character that appears bored himself or yawning or tired. Uh, the agent scratches his unshaven neck. Unshaven neck. Uh, wasteland habits never die. Whenever I get under a roof or shelter, I always attempt to barricade myself in. Like with this door, for example. I locked it on instinct, never even bothered to remember where I stashed the key. Can you take a quick look around? Where did he put the key? That was easy. Take all. Open your inventory and hold LMB on the key and drag it into slot one like on the picture. <laughs> this way it will be equipped. After that, click on the door with LMB to use the key on it. Okay. Open inventory. Drag key to slot one. Yes. Click on the door. I'm a genius! You wonder if there is any atomic fizzy drink left in the machine. Hmm, what's this? Camo bandana. Headgear in the shape of a scarf. Bandanas are now only spelled with one N and worn on the head or neck. Take on. Put the bandana on. Oh yeah. <laughs> Can't quite get a look at him. Here, turn around. Yeah, model that. Mm. Love me a good camo bandana. Got a coin. I see a guitar over there too. I think I might take that guitar. That's the only thing that keeps me from being a total nerd, is my guitar. <laughs> if you can play guitar, you can't be a nerd at the same time. At least that's what I tell myself. Let's see, rope, waste paper. Somebody's probably like, what about bass? What about drums? Well, maybe. I'm not going to include synthesizers, though. Mm -mm. You take a deep breath. The air of the assembly field is filled with the stench of machine oil and soldier sweat. <laughs> Does soldier sweat have a distinctive <laughs> aroma? You know, some, some, some of you guys probably even know the answer to that. <laughs> tell me, does soldier sweat have a unique uh, odor? I'd love to know what that's like. Or maybe, I don't think I would, actually. Uh, today, only you and your colleagues stand here. I'll be honest with you, Dimitri. The wastes are no joke. <laughs> they have the wastes. You, know, you can't call it the wasteland. <laughs> you need to be prepared. Are you ready to do some training exercises? Although I got it. I don't know Brian Fargo that well. But I feel like he would, uh, if anything, like this game. Not try to sue it. <laughs> yeah, it won't hurt. Let's do some training here. Oh, crap! Oh, man. I accidentally skipped it. 
All right, press the C button on the interface button to open the statistics window. To check out your partner statistics, press the button above. Picture to the right, the only buttons. Oh my god. The view abilities, press the button below. Picture on the right. All right, that's that. All right, so what are we doing? Let's look around some more. But hey, if you're done with the training. Okay, so apparently I'm just looking around. Okay, what's this thing? Uh, barracks. Yeah, you could probably learn some Russian playing this if you really wanted to. Ooh, gunpowder. Scrap metal, yes. I'm not supposed to be doing anything special. That's our warehouse. Spring cleaning is going on right now, so there's not much stuff left. But the doors are still locked. Perfect place to practice lock picking. Almost as if by design, yes. How do you do the lock picking? Okay. Well, <laughs> Why am I not getting the little... Uh, there we go. So now you have to hold the left button down. You open the lock and I gain one experience point. Oh boy, crafting. Open your inventory, click on the bar called crafting. Place a bottle and a brick into the slots and press the crafting button pictured on the right. To attempt making a simple self-defense weapon, a broken bottle. Okay, I'm sure that makes sense. Do got me some spoons and forks. There's some bricks. I assume I've got a weight limit. Yeah, it's already filling up fast too. Funny how carrying around a big stack of bricks gets tiresome. I assume I'll need all that scrap metal eventually. Okay. Is that duct tape? Electrical tape. Ooh, magnifying glass. Oh, got me locked. Locker! Failed to open the lock. There we go. Tobacco. Okay, let's just go ahead and loot the whole place. Aha! Uh -huh. That's locked? Now, oh, come on. You can't lock a crate like that. That's locked. Ooh, coded lock. Guessing I can't just easily, uh... Well, let's just try it. Unlock. You can't open the lock. I'm getting plenty of bullets. I really hope I get to use these bullets soon. Preferably. What's your deal? He's encumbered. No, what's Bubushka scarf? Hmm. I can actually use that to get plus three to my tinkering. I wonder if I have to have it equipped. There's that gives me some survival points. Well, well, well. Okay, is there a way to sort this by weight? How much weight do I need to lose? So I'm at 40. Well, why don't we just go ahead and craft? Maybe that'll get rid of the... So, let's see, it was, it was a brick and a bottle. And there we 
go. Oh, we still encumbered. Okay, let's put some stuff into the... I wish there was a way you could see how much this stuff weighs. Get rid of the... one of the bricks. Yeah, but, eh, better hold on to those, I guess. Okay, now I can move again. Okay. Okay. There's a letter there. 0451. Big spoiler alert. 0451. Ooh, glasses. Glasses. Hmm. Man, remember that Twilight Zone episode where the guy loves to read, but he breaks his glasses, even though he's got unlimited time to just read? <laughs> it's like, I think it's kind of a post-apocalyptic uh, scenario. Well, I guess my attention is not right. It says it's got to have attention less than five to wear those. And let's see, my attention's too high. So that would do me no good. If you're done with the training, just go inside the main bunker. Okay. What's this? It's like bricks. Bricks and bottles. Oh, I can... I can train here, it looks like. Yeah, get in there. Why is he going so slowly? Uh, I guess I picked up way too much stuff. Okay, we can't we can't live with this. Uh, there we go. Here, as you already know, is the shooting gallery. Try and shoot some targets. Take the weapon from the table by clicking on it with L and B, then drag it into an active slot to attack a passive target. Control to give weapons. Click on him with the L and B and give him the desired weapons. Gotcha. Hey, some of the guys seem to be resting here. If you want, we can ask them for a quick sparring match. Where is this table with the weapons? There we go. All right, let's grab a pistol. Some ammo. <laughs> Rubber bullets. Okay. Yep. Dirt punch him. Okay, grab that. All right, what was my mission? Sparring match. Let me shoot you with a rubber bullet. <laughs> That'll be fun. <laughs> to give orders in combat, press LMLB on him or her and pick the command you want. Really? Alright. Show target, switch weapon, hold position. Make him aggressive, I wish. Okay, then we can can't see the target. I mean, you can't see the target. It's right there. Can't see the target. What in God's name? Uh, okay. What's going on? Well, apparently he can see me. Darn it! I can't see. So we got aim shots, reload, and singles. So very much a wastelander. Wastelander? <laughs> okay, I just invented my own series. <laughs> Wasteland vibe. Let's try an aim shot. So that takes five. And I go for a headshot. Can't feel my face. How long does this go on? Hmm. 
Why is that guy not doing anything? Are we supposed to do this to the death? I guess so. <laughs> Yay! Alright. Okay, so I feel like we've trained with all that. Is that a gas pump? Boom! It's good to know a rubber bullet can blow up a propane tank. What's that sound? It's your stomach growling? Well, I've got good news. Somebody forgot his canned meat over there. You can warm it up in the campfire. God, I love spam. You know, spam is probably a luxury to these guys, huh? They probably have to settle for, like, some... <laughs> some Soviet version of spam. Where am I held? You click the bonfire to cook your food for additional bonuses. Okay. Yeah, but I straight up do enjoy spam. I know it's not a very popular thing, but man. So good. If you put it, uh, some spam on it, cut it up with little patties and put it on the grill, it's, uh, it's good. Cook. Bless Nicholas Appert for his invention. Despite the years that have passed since the creation of this can, its contents are still edible. You gain some important culinary experience. Yes, you do that when you cook spam. Alright, down there. What? You know, I love this little training area. It's pretty well, pretty well done. You can spend some time in the ring if you want. I don't get your blood pumping. We know how to fight. Let's see, map. I wonder if there's anything else we should do here. Oh! Tank! Oh, tell me, please tell me I get to ride around in this tank. Get in the tank! Ugh! Denied. Oh, but we got some garbage bins, so it's okay. There's no shame in digging through the trash. You're not the only bum who digs in garbage around here. Yeah, been at the bottom of a bargain bin a time or two. Looking for games. I don't want to log for it. Do I need this stuff? I hope they get into, like, crafting soon. Where's the vendor trainer? <laughs> need to... Vend all the stuff. I think that's it. Is that it? Yeah, let's just call it done. I've had enough training. I think you said I need to go back to the main building. All right, come here, Ralph. Just go inside the main bunker. Okay. Just go inside the main... Oh, is this not the main bunker? Oh, maybe that's the main bunker. Okay. Inside the main bunker. Well, what is the. Yeah. Okay. Let's see, where's my map? Map, 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 map. Location Adam Base. Where do you think the main bunker is? Is that that? He 
said I could go inside it. Um, <laughs> oh my god. Where is this place I'm supposed to go? Main bunker. So it's not that building. Can't go in there. It's not that. Is it over here? It must be here. There's a dude. Yeah, although that looks like it says first aid, but um, yeah, here we go. Look at this Nimrod sleeping on duty. That's a word we don't use enough. Nimrod. What do you do if an enemy gets inside the base? Teach this slappy head a lesson. Steal his gun from him. Okay, I think I know how it works at this point. Pick packet. Uh, oh, no take off. Mutant enemy! Attack at the gates! Sleeping soldier startles awake and grabs at his empty holster. <laughs> you picked a terrible time to take a nap, kid. If we were the enemy, your throat would have been slashed minutes ago. Alright. Hey, I'm not sleeping. Ugh. See a middle-aged man frantically digging through the pockets of his starched white lab coat. This is Dr. Zinoviev. Zinoviev. That's why you notice the absence of his thick rimmed glasses. Dang it, where did I put my glasses? Oh no, those glasses! Is there anything useful you can teach me before I go? Um, take this med kit and patch him up. I should probably go back and get those glasses. Probably get a nice little reward for that. <laughs> it's just about put me at my weight limit though. Okay, maybe I can give him those glasses. I just stumbled up I just stumbled upon a pair of glasses. Might be yours. What were your glasses doing in a secure safe? Uh afraid I'm not entirely sure. There we go. Good dad, I've wasted my whole morning looking for these. Thanks a lot. I think you won't save me from the perils of the wastes. Okay, now did he give me the medical kit? Where's the medical kit at? Uh, that's a stimulant. That's an antidote. Stimulant. Oh, there's a medical medical kit. Okay. Let's see. Maybe we can switch that. And then we use it on him. That's better. Meet you with a friendly nod. Here's my report. Tyrus is bandaged and resting. I saw you helping him, cadet. <laughs> I'm glad the game finally recognized I'm doing something right in front of you. Here's hoping your first aid skills never get any use in the field. I'm not sure how to take that. Well, only real question is where is the main? That's gotta be it. Look, it says main bunker right there. <laughs> <laughs> it says something, man. I don't even. Uh, looks like a C. Is that maybe Atom? Kick. That's the entrance to the bunker. You can skip this whole training nonsense and wait for the brief. Let's go ahead and go. Ooh. Welcome to the video toaster. Atom, a branch of the Soviet Army, created long.
long before the war, caused by the imperialist conquerors. Our mission does not end in gathering pre-war technology and reviving our Soviet motherland. We also strive to reach the pre-war quality of life for all. To realize those goals... Wasn't all that great. <laughs> 1986. Not long ago, one of such expeditions... Those like glorious days of... ...lost all contact with the base. Oh. Our human resources are limited. Therefore, the standard procedure is to send out but a few agents to investigate this problem. You are one of the chosen for this mission. Hmm. General Morozov's troops had an important quest to locate, control, and study a secret bunker. Bunker 317. 317. According to our data, it is located near the village of Radnoya. To successfully complete your mission, we recommend you to contact our agent in the city of Krasnos Nemunye. We recommend you to. He's hiding in plain sight as a barkeep in the outskirts of the city. So apart from physical aid, he can offer you informational support as well. You will learn the password needed to contact our agent from the envelope. Destroy it upon reading. And remember, your mission is to gather intelligence on the disappearance of Morozov and his troops. No heroics. The wastes are a dangerous place. What happened? Good luck, cadet. And let there be atom. Let there be atom! Let there be atom! Is there atoming happening? What a nice night we're having. So calm. Nothing can go wrong. Second, what's that rustling sound? Ooh, shadows. Uh, yeah. A well built man in his 30s emerges from the uneven shadows dancing around your campfire. <laughs> He's dressed in a musty khaki uniform. Well, well, what do we have here? Hope I'm not bothering you, comrade. Man stops before you and rubs his hands as if to warm himself. Or to show off a formidable set of brass knuckles. You know, at least they're keeping the dialogue to like one line. <laughs> That's really great. I felt like I was reading paragraphs. Okay, man, whistles. Must be difficult covering such a load of stuff. Stranger's face breaks into an ominous smile. You know, me and my pals could help you. You finally notice four other figures standing at the edge of the firelight. It's painfully clear. You're about to get robbed. Hmm, should we fight or surrender? Listen, I agree that sharing is caring. But all I have is the bare minimum for survival. Easy there, man. Maybe you missed it in the dark, but I'm not sure to be stopped by some brass knuckles. <laughs> oh, go ahead and rob me. I, uh, I don't know. Let's try third. The leader chuckles. He's got tremendous moxie for his size. I like it. Listen, why don't you lie down and rest for a little bit? Maybe then you can beat the ever-loving crap out of us <laughs> in your dreams. <laughs> Uh-oh. Take the loot, man. We got ourselves a good catch tonight. Welcome to level one, no equipment. Those a-holes robbed me blind. Or maybe they left something. I'm just offended they didn't take my sweater, man. What, do they think it's not stylish enough? What's this? Empty canteen. The Leningrad knife and Adam. And by the way, guys, I want this dog tag. Send me one of those dog tags already. <laughs> I think. Gives me plus nine to speechcraft. Wow. Got a nice knife. I guess I can use that empty canteen maybe to whack somebody with. All right. little something in here. 
You know, the controls are nice. It's really smooth. And I do wish they would have those, uh, the labels pop up instead of just the, in green. I know they fixed that in True to Grade. Come on, come on. There we go. Got some electrical tape. What is that? A log. Why does it make such a big deal about getting a log? There's a brick there. I'll take the brick. Can I use a knife? Maybe use the knife on that. Let's see if this works. Nope. Okay. There's some more bricks. I don't want to <laughs> be carrying around a hundred thousand bricks. the fog of war there is that how far I can go okay yeah, I like that sweater I mean it's no vault dwelling vault dwellers outfit but it will work Ooh, good scene And this is what the game would look like if you were playing Fallout 4. Oh, kick cool. I see ho. Up to up pa ho. Huh. Oh, that's cool. Still haven't figured out what that thing is. Halt, who's there? Before you stands a strongly built man of about 30. He's wearing a weathered military jacket and holding a large gun. At a glance, he seems like the affable sort. and would probably welcome such conversation. Oh, welcome some conversation. He's absently chewing a blade of glass. And I promise you, I've got an eye appointment next week <laughs> I, mean, this is, I haven't had my eyes examined for two years now so uh, my prescription is probably a little bit dated hey there comrade hello to you too the man coughs and spits out the grass nice to meet you my name is Jan may I ask what brings you to the village I'm looking for some someone who lives here not really ask a couple of questions. Did a troop of military types pass through your village? A whole squad passed through not long ago. Some serious looking dudes. They brought they bought some water, rested for a day near the walls and moved on. Alright, he's giving me a map to some ruins. Is there any work available? Sure, there's always work to be found. For one, our tech guy disappeared somewhere. Steblev is his surname. Uh, he's been known to drink and even go on a bender from time to time. It's not like him to be gone for so long. Last time I saw him, he was pretty drunk and bragging he was going to be a millionaire real <laughs> soon. Oh my god. Too soon, too close to home. And then poof, he vanished. Maybe he got that billion to rent off. Yeah. Maybe, but where would he get it? There's something shady. Jan shrugs his shoulders. Anyway, a talented handyman would be most welcome here. Point me to some other jobs. You might try asking around the tavern. Vasya and Katya Rajinko and some of the villagers might be looking for manual laborers. What do you want to know? Are we going to buy some weapons? 
We're gonna buy some drugs. How's life? This is a great village. Okay, apparently you won't believe it, but I heard people were buying buy some drugs. How's life? This is a great village. Okay, apparently. Alright. It's rough. Bandits come each month to demand money. We tried fighting them. We tried making peace with them. Nothing works. They're too strong. It's time for the Magnificent Seven. Okay, anything else we need to ask him? I don't heard any good rumors. One passerby told me that somewhere in the wastes is an old abandoned Boy Scout camp. But it's not entirely abandoned. All the Boy Scouts who were camped out there before the war are still there. But they've gone feral and they worship the devil. Oh, it's a, oh, what's that? Lord of the Flies uh, situation. He also told me they might not be Boy Scouts at all. But monstrous creatures that took on the forms of children. Ah. This is pretty creative stuff here. It's just a huge load of bull, right? I'm not the right guy to ask for rumors. Okay. Okay. And uh, some logs. Oh, another locked crate. A bottle with water. Some nails. Okay, what's going on in here? Nobody seems to be objecting to me. Uh oh. We don't think kindly. <laughs> Just as soon as I say it. <laughs> so apparently they do notice if you're trying to loot their stuff. An aging man with an old rifle. Hey there, ask away. Oh, there's our murder button. Okay, we'll have some logs. And a spoon and some bricks. How do I do this? What am I missing here? How do I? Three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's a good trade. What are you guarding? The village treasury. We keep the taxes here. I may be old, but I'm a great shot. Tell me about yourself, simple man. I can hit a radioactive spider in the eye socket for 200 paces. I don't like to brag. What's new with our head? He's a great man. I can ask something else. What's there any rumors? Monsters in the south and north, giant spiders, wasps, and even more dangerous things. I don't know whether they can breed. If they can, we're in trouble. Okay. Who's this guy? Before you stands an old man in an old and battered but clean jacket. He looks around 60. But hale and hearty for someone living in the wastes. His real age is closer to 70. What do you need, comrade? I'm very busy. My kind of villager. Okay, well, I guess I can't take their stuff. There's the bartender. A plump, red faced man of around 25 with a neatly trimmed beard. Wearing a white shirt with some rather short shorts. In his hand, there's a clean towel he uses to swat flies. Oh, customer, welcome to the tavern. The travelers should keep on coming. Well, you're here right now. Not long ago, an armed band came through the village. But they were nice and civil. They weren't chatty. Our village head wanted to speak to them about something. His name is Jan. Well, the gate guard, yeah. Yeah, if you want to know more, so just speak to him. I've already done that. Talk to my sister. Tiling, expenses, budgets. Yes, yes, yes. Making all sorts of potions, tinctures, and spirits. Tell her I sent you to try out her latest tincture. That way you'll get a free drink and also get to chat with her. Thanks. Can I look at the menu? Thanks questions. Tell me about yourself. He's a bartender. 
More questions, how's life? People are reasonably civil. Uh, do, do, do. Labor dining hall, food for workers. Heard any gossip? In the city of Krasnosnamini, Krasnosnamini, there's a religious cult that worships some unknown terror from the deep. That sounds like. Uh... Oh, come on. Terror from the deep. UFO. Uh, why am I not remember the name? XCOM. Strangest part is that the cult has its own building. A real mystery to me. Okay. It hits. I heard that there's a village not far from here. Some boys uncovered an old car in the woods, started chucking rocks at the windows, and later set it on fire. Right after they did, a huge bear came out of the woods. Instead of chasing him, the bear climbed into the side of the burning car and burned to a crisp along with it. <clears throat> so it looks like he's got a bunch of stories. Okay, let's go ahead and leave, though. Maybe you'd like to hear a business proposal. Yeah. What I need from you, what I need is for you to bring me this book I ordered, but it's all the way over in Krasnos in the mini. <laughs> Abraham, the bookseller, has it in his store. As you can see, I, I see that you travel a lot, so if you ever find yourself there, maybe you can pick it up. Okay. The owner of this document, Rad Shingo, may obtain a copy of The Lord of the Rings by J.R. Tolkien, translated to Russian by Bober Z.A. Before you sits a young woman. She's deep in concentration, writing in a yellow notebook with the word counting on the cover. She's completely immersed in this activity. Okay, brother. I doubt you've ever drunk anything quite like this. She produces a clay bottle labeled triple X. Drink up. Take a sip. Drink has a strange sour taste. What harm can a few more sips do? Now your head begins to spin. Your mouth is very dry. <laughs> From some distant place you hear the girl calling to you, Don't do it! But you already did. The world around you stops. You also stop. Why did I drink that stuff? <clears throat> General Morozov appears before you. You looking for me? He asks, his voice like a hundred voices in one. You cannot reply. Yeah, you're looking for me. Let's go. You walk through the dead gray mist together, Morozov in front, you following behind. The general is calm and assured. Simply follow him. <laughs> Finally, the mists part, and a strangely beautiful sight appears. There are mushrooms. <laughs> You've arrived at an unreal primordial mushroom forest. Yeah, mushrooms, yeah. The truly colossal mushroom. This is God. You know, I think we can all relate to this story. We've all been there before. Uh, for the colossal mushroom now has a human face. Order, bow, orders the mushroom God. Your mind turns off. Okay, we're back to... <laughs> what the bleep? Oh, sh bleep. Fa bleep. Try what the? He's alive. He's alive. Your stability is returning as the tincture leaves your system. How are you feeling? <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> that was my latest tincture, but I think I overmixed it. The girl exhales and gives you a smile. We took good care of your stuff while you have slept. Not been robbed. You got to be sure your brain is fine. What are you doing? Um, trying to make ends meet. Concoct new beverages, make recipes. Looking for work. I could put in a word for you with Comrade Kovalov or Village Head. He always has work to be done. 
If you could help me with some chores, I'd feel better. Shame to ask, but I need toadstools. Just five toadstools. Toadstools. <laughs> they grow on the other side of the fence. Can I get out of it? Failure. Alright, I'll get the mushroom. You see a muscular man near the bar. He eats minced meat out of a can and washes it down with bun cap. Yes, of course. It's another Atom cadet. There will be Atom. Let there be Atom. Before seeing... You never were friends, but you still recognize him. His name is Alexander. Oh, hey. Hey there, Dimitri. Didn't recognize you at first, but now it's painfully obvious. Snips. What am I doing here? Did you honestly think you were the only one sent after Martyrsov? We were both sent, just at different times. Oh, so he's supposedly on the same quest I am. What are you, my mother? Don't answer. Now, I'm guessing when they say Georgia, they're not talking about the state. <laughs> I'm actually investigating a lead right now in this bar. I'd share some clues with you, but I won't. Get your own clues. Chav. What do you think? It's okay. Girl, Katia could have been more into me, you know. Can I ask her something else? How's your investigation going? Ask her something. Heard anything interesting? I started tending to my muscles as of late. Why do you... Why would you need to stay handsome? Strength is beauty. It's, Alexander shows off his muscles to you. They're quite large. His hands look like industrial chimneys. Okay, I guess he's not going to join my little party. I need to talk to her about anything else. I heard that this band, Atomic Love Gurus, went on tour around the waist. A traveling salesman showed me a bootleg album of theirs once. They sound like the Beatles combined with Boney M. Sad that I'll never hear. Boney M. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, Rasputin. Is that the Rasputin guy? No, sad that I'll never hear them live. Maybe you will. Okay, let's go get the mushrooms. Go and find some mushrooms. She said they were on the other side of the fence. Uh, do you see any mushrooms? Where are these? Maybe you don't see them unless you're like there. Yeah, let's talk to this lady. Shortest woman with a kindly face. Can I ask you some questions? Sure. How's life? Bandits. Love history. Uh, wait, what was that? Oh, three sons, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's new? Our tech specialist disappeared. Being a millionaire. Heard any rumors? There's a place called Alger. Good day, good day. Right, we have a vendor. I don't really know what to. I guess I could try to buy a weapon, but uh, yeah, I've only got six rubles. How's <laughs> business? Fair taverns. 
by purchasing a quality firearm. Oh, actually, it was successful with Speechcraft. The truth is, I was a big man in Krasnov and the a dealer in weapons, ammo, alcohol, and tobacco. I had a family, a wife, and a son. Well, these big men have many enemies, and it turned out I was no exception. So I guess they burned down his warehouse. His workers left. Started drinking. His wife left him. Escorted out of the city. Could have been anyone. Maybe I can help. I see you're not a stupid man. You know, maybe the road will take you to Krasnov. <laughs> He's going to call that Krasnos. Maybe you could help me get reelected in the chamber. Okay, another little quest. Good to go. I should go to work. About yourself. Just seeing if there's any more quests here. Can't last forever. Rumors doesn't like them. Okay. Hard looking man around 45. How about yourself? Another question. What's new? <laughs> yes. 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 Okay. I haven't quite figured out if this is one of those games where you have to talk to everybody repeatedly. 50-year-old man, some kind of government official. Might you be here to fix our water tower? Oh, they're looking for a water purification ship. Engine doesn't work. Mechanic disappeared somewhere. That's great. Water tower is nearby. Anything else? So this is the head of the community. Or maybe he's not. Hey, press. He so must be like, a, how's the health? That's interesting. So a lot of these characters have uh, backstories. I mean, there's more here than just simple <laughs> descriptions. How's the health? Living in the village. Uh, okay. I don't want to bore the people watching the video with all these endless chats so i'll try to skip on through it oh this guy's rolling dice want we'll to play some dice yeah he made gambling illegal that means i play only outside the village uh, how are you i don't mope about it hunter comrade investigator i'm a hunter comrade investigator Share faithful help, pretty romantic. There's a movie south of here. Okay, I'm guessing I can't steal stuff right in front of them. Piece of a tire. An old man in a skull cap. He has quite a few characters here to talk to in there. Wait, did I just get another quest? I want to ask you some questions. How's life? I want to get them back so the bandits got to him, huh? Let's see, where is my quest log? Is there a quest log? No? I need to harvest the crops for old man Simeon behind his shack. Okay. I thought there was a quest log. Hmm. 
I must track it somewhere. One corny quest, but oh shucks. Picture corn, old man. I don't have any money to pay you. I was glad to help out. What an old fool I am. Wait here. Gets on his knees, starts scratching under his rickety bed. Finally, he pulls out his old shotgun. That's more like it. It's an old hunting carbine. I thought you said it was a shotgun. <laughs> Make up your mind. That's a rifle. However, I don't think recommended five strand 35 rifles and shotguns. So I'm not going to be very good with that. Okay, but better than nothing. I ask you some questions. Yeah, tell me about yourself. What's new? Heard any rumors? Gotta go. How's life? This guy must have something. Heard any rumors? Okay, let me check my inventory. I should probably think about crafting some stuff, but... Let's go ahead and sell this, uh... That old tire's worth 22. Okay. The village mechanic isn't around, so I repaired the water pump for the superintendent. Did I? Where's the water pump? Man, that's a big map. I see a water tower over there. There we go. Let's see if we can fix it. I turn the handle, but it doesn't work. It needs to be fixed. Repair. We tried to fix the engine, but to no avail. How do I fix it? I just keep clicking. You need to hold a container. Okay, I think we can fill up our canteen now. You quickly fill the container with comparatively clean water. Who took the toilet paper? See anybody here? Take everything. Herbal mix. Ah. Okay. Uh, let me see. Where was that guy? I think I can wear that. Hey, that hood looks familiar. Turn these in. Okay, sell, sell. I'll keep the food, you know, it's probably going to be useful at some point. Hmm, what 
else? Toilet paper. Okay. Trying to get enough money here to buy it. Hopefully buy a gun by the time we're ready to go. Okay, I think this guy will talk to me now, right? Oh. Uh, who do I need to... F who did I fix that thing for? She wanted the mushrooms. Oh, that's right. The Yeah, I think he's in here, the guy I need to talk to. Yeah, there he is. Okay, yep. I'm done. New level! Oh yeah, I get to level up. Alright, skills. Alright, where do we want to put these? Get a few to work with. Go ahead and pump that up some. Speech craft. Survival. Barter. Why does that have a negative four modifier? Hmm. Lock picking. Tinkering. All right, we'll go with that. Okay, so we fixed the water tower. Does he have another mission for us? I think so. <laughs> Set through a lecture. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can figure out this. Five toadstools. That's why she needs them. Where are the toadstools? That seems to be. I believe she said they were right outside the village, right outside the fence. Seeing anything that looks. Uh oh, here we go. Oh, I got no ammo. I'm gonna have to stab. Target is too far. Missed every time. Oh, Lord. Do an aim shot. Yikes. Man. <gasps> is that what I think it is? <laughs> yes, it is. Stabbing you! Oh no, you don't. It's two of you. <laughs> yeah. Come here. Huh? Oh, come on, get it. Ah. Gosh. Oh no, I get surrounded by him. Oh, it's a rat lean. Got you. I stab you with my pocket knife. Oh, don't kill me. How many hit points do I have? <laughs> 22. Man, alive! This guy sucks! I don't have another weapon. I'm gonna die! There, finally. Jesus. I wonder if I'm better off doing these aim shots. 40% chance. You only get one of those oh, two times. Come on, 40%. You think I'd hit? There, I got him. 75 XP. 
Definitely took some damage though. Ooh, meat. Oh, you not only get to kill rats, you get to eat them? I like it. Ooh, toadstool. And I get the toadstools. How do I repair that damage though? Can I eat this? I don't want to drop it, I want to eat it. What do I have? Surely I don't have to do that. Eat it! <laughs> eat the corn! Well, make tea from it. Do I craft it? You don't have a clue. Toxic. Oh, this is malt raw meat. I don't want to eat that. Well, I'm going to have to figure out how to heal myself. Don't have a first aid kit. Trying to find the rest of those toadstools. You know, I might need to run back to town and figure out how to heal. Fire, maybe, or where do I cook that food? Some smoke there must be a yeah, look, no, can't seem to do anything there. Okay. Cook the food. Oh, here's a first aid place. He's dressed in a dusty lab coat with the sleeves rolled up and a gray cloth hat. So apparently these chef hats in Russia mean doctor's hats. I did not know that. Uh, I'll go with it though. I like to buy some drugs. Need your help. Check your looks weird. I have a drug that might help open your mouth. The drug worked. Done and done. Thanks, Doc. I'd like to buy some drugs. Uh, what can I sell them? Nothing really yet. I could buy a toadstool. Where's the job? Blah blah blah. How's life? Heard no rumors. No more questions. Lady with the cane. Doesn't hurt to just, you know, ask all the questions and just see what happens. What is that? What's happening over there? Another. She's doing something to that pig. Stubborn like his dad. This is how I am in real life, too, when people try to talk to me. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's go out here. He healed me back up, so that's good, good to know. 
cough, cough. Why am I coughing? Feeling sick. Oh, great. Don't get sick. Antidote. What, what, what? What is that thing? Is that an ant? I'm being attacked by a myrmic worker. You know, if I don't find a damn, uh, some bullets or something here pretty quick, I might just have to start putting some points into melee weapons. Okay, I got two mushrooms now. Oh, I was trying to... Let's see, toxicity. Where? Health 31. Red, toxic. Okay, but where's my ability tree? Oh, I've got points I haven't even used. Jeez. Survivor, plus 10, plus 2 to regeneration. Your ability points, each level you get two. Cost of skill. Oh, Way of the Warrior, plus 10 martial arts. 20 resist, 20% 20 to resist knockdown. Plus 10 to first aid. 10% discount everywhere. Ah, oh, see, the next chain you get fast learning. That's usually always the best way to go. Let's try the gunslinger. Gotta have a gunslinger. I know eventually, <laughs> eventually I've got to find that, right? Not enough points. Oh, how do I? What the hell's going on here? How do I confirm this? What? Confirm it! What do I press? What the hell? Come on! <laughs> I got two ability points, correct? Okay, click that. Am I missing something here? Right click. Space. Okay, I don't know why that's not working. Teammate poisoned. Oh, wait a minute. So I got one point, and that cost two. Oh, now I can't click on it. Wait, what the? <laughs> so have I learned this status? Learn. Okay, I'll just take it. Take its word. <laughs> However, I need to get rid of that poison. Let's see, antidote. Use. Okay. That got rid of the poison. Excellent. And I need two more mushrooms. There's another ant. Don't come to me. Alright. Getting better. 
My stupid bugs don't have any loot. Pretty good animation. It's still not dead. Come on, we gotta get him. <laughs> Tricky little bastard. Alright. Man, come on. Sometimes you just cannot get the roll you need. That's three toad stools, one more. Ooh, graves. Without a shovel at the ready. Oh, we're gonna dig up graves. That's not nice. I wonder if you get a better chance you can get behind it somehow. Well, it is pretty challenging to hit that, hit something like that with a pocket knife. Okay, I see one more over here. I see my mushroom over there. Oh yeah, making good progress. Arrgh. You're trying to sting me. God, stupid. And I got the toad stool. It's almost like those bugs were guarding the toad stools. You know, I got all my toadstools, but I see one more ant over here. We're gonna take him out. Get some of that sweet XP. Got him. German next. What's this? What is this spiral doing here? Yeah, I was just asking that. If you made the game, you tell me. I don't know. What is that spiral? Okay, we got our mushrooms. Go turn that in. Jab well done. I'm very productive. Let's see now. Where was that? Jab well done. I'm very productive. There we go. Gotcha. Yes, that actually is what I'm there about. <laughs> so I got the mushrooms. Uh, I can't be a brewer without taking care of the Bookkeeping. Tell me about what? What? Oh, I need five, not four. Ow! Five. Four won't even get me a thanks. Okay, where do you think it is? I don't want to get back in that radioactive stuff. Uh-oh. There we go. Another. Alright. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Where is this other mushroom? Oh, there we go, yeah. Alright, look at this. Yeah, I'm gonna come one more step. Just 
Just wish I had some a pistol and some ammo. I see my mushroom over there too. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should try kicking one. You know, I might actually be better off trying to punch him. Let's try this. <laughs> Punched a rat. <laughs> Can I kick him? Aim shot. Oh, damn. Punched him to death. Oh, is he not dead? Oh, he was like dazed or something. Oh, take the meat. All right, I'm satisfied. I punched some rats to death. Good day. Good day. Go, go, go. All right, lady, I got your toadstools. Here you go. Hand of the mushroom. She scrutinizes them. Speech crack. Success. Here's another 20. All right, now I go talk to the core guy. Where was he at? No, that's not right. I might be able to sell some stuff. I don't have anything to sell. You know, I need to f figure out how to cook stuff. Custom revolver. Sold off shotgun. Hunter's memo. This will teach you how to craft buckshot for a zip gun. So it's 136 for this zip gun. How many rubles? I don't have quite enough. Now I'm just going to operate under the assumption that they will give me a weapon when I think I'm ready for one. Right, that's not the right guy. Where is the guy? I think he's in here. Yeah, there he is. Alright, seems like his vision isn't what it used to be. You notice real warmth in the head's voice. Yes, the job. Uh, maybe I have a job for you. You've probably already heard about the bandit gang that terrorizes our village. Each month they come to collect supplies, but if we don't surrender the goods, they rob and kill us. Okay. I believe there's a snitch in the village. A traitor. A rat. <laughs> yes, I can vouch for that. Someone made a pact with the bandits and keeps them informed. I can't imagine who the rat actually is. And the bastard himself knows me and the other villagers. Alright, I get it. Somebody's ratting us out. You're a new face. Should be easy for you to earn the rat's trust. Bring the identity. That's your job. Do you agree? Sure. I completely trust Jan and Petcha on the south and north gates respectively. They would not work for me. Trader Yation may be a suspect. He's new in town, has a shady past. He built his own shop. Dr. Miyakon, an old Simeon. I trust that I would trust myself. Comrade is a cowardly, shifty person. Comrade Grink. Well, so we gotta go talk to everybody, huh? I sp suspect the traitor is a man, a young man, who travels from time to time. Criminal types, they abhor honest labor. Alright. 
Oh, who do you think it is? You know, how did this crafting system work? There must be some way to cook this meat. Combine it with fire, campfire. Oh, I didn't mean to eat it raw, crap. Must be a. St yeah, look, there's a stove, but I don't see any way to to use it. You know, this Alexander must be the guy, right? Let's see. Think about this place. Investigation going. Maybe it's not Alexander. Maybe it's this guy. Looks sincere. Simple man. Uh, who's this guy? Very drunk old man. Show some magic tricks. In Stalin times, likes you had their asses kicked, you darn poem reader. The man smacks his lips angrily and threatens you. Trick schmix. I'm the real deal. That's very important. That's you, Dimitri. Meet Rodian's adopted son. Your real biological father is the death god himself, Hiccup. What? Exactly. After the war, Rodian and I were wanderers. We saw all sorts. And one day, the windy road took us right to the lair of some cult followers. It just happened by accident. We were about to be, we were about to sacrifice to the death god, the child of that very death god. You! And Rodion went mental. Fancy meeting you here. Well, that's kind of interesting. <laughs> no, mortal. I prefer healing potions. So is it that this guy's nuts or is there some important narrative work there? Okay, but anyway, I don't think he's our culprit. I know it's a guy. Wanna play some dice? Uh-oh. I think we found him. Yeah, look, what if one who's working for the bandits just left the village quietly, making no trouble for you or anyone else, out of sight, out of mind? And when you decide you're done with all the bullshit, sleeping under rocks, stealing dog food, there'll be a position available for you in our, <clears throat> I mean, their bandit camp. It's located not too far from here in the abandoned factory. And how do you like that kind of career opportunity? Whoa, <laughs> now he's the rat. <laughs> That's me. Although I resent being called a snitch, I'm more of an infiltrator. Okay. Need to think for a while. So now we go snitch on the snitch. Okay. And of course, it was so obvious. But just a few years ago, I would have spotted them right from the start. We must dispose of Grishka the Snitch. 
He must be disposed of quietly. I'd be glad to help. <laughs> what exactly did he propose? Stock him in broad daylight? No, no, no. Must be dealt with quietly. Beyond the fence there is an abandoned building. How about you lure them out there silently and do the deed? Execution. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm feeling too good about this, but... Okay, I'm definitely going to need some we proper weapons. So we got this rifle. Let's see, what is my... Uh, rifles is, you know, I think I'd just be way better off with a pistol. Let's just go ahead and commit to it. Okay, I'm going to sell the shotgun. Okay, he's got a custom revolver. Ammo. How does ammo work? Got 30 rounds. So it's got to be these point thirty rounds, otherwise I don't think we've got ammo. Is that what is that what this uses? Pistols, jamming chance nine to eleven. Short distance. AP cost. Does it say what kind of what kind of ammo we need for that? Yeah. Guess I'll just buy those and hope. Okay, trade. There's no ammo. Oh crap. So that's not the right ammo? Where does it say the type of ammo it needs? Custom revolver, ammo, round zero to five. Well, crap. It says it's used, this is used in pistols and shotguns. You have to like... <laughs> oh my god. How do I load this thing? Well, if that's not the kind of ammo it needs. Well, I guess we got a gun but no ammo. To make ammo? I got ammo, but it won't work. What does that do? Oh, I might have to stick to the knife. Right, let's lure this guy out and <laughs> rat. You don't have anything against going to that abandoned building over there. <laughs> I notice you're a gambler. No, I won't. Okay, speechcraft. Okay, there we go. Where's this abandoned building you're talking about? What abandoned building? This? That's not abandoned. And no, 
that's not abandoned. That's not abandoned. You know, it sounded like it was someplace out of town. Well. Any idea where this is a... This must be it. Yeah, there we go. Punch versus a knife. That shall be the main quest today, and I am the chef. Hey. Not doing too good with these punches. I think we need the stabby stabby. Oish. Oh man. I think he's gonna kill me. I don't know what the hell the problem was with that gun, but not being able to load that sucks. Oh no. Yeah, I, what the hell do you think the problem was with that? Why couldn't I load the stupid pistol? I have to try to figure that out. Okay, this is before I turned in the quest. Where am I at here? Oh, jeez. It's a long ways back. Well, I'll get to where that was and then try to figure out what the problem is with this pistol. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, and I got to turn that in. Village. Uh oh. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Let me see if I can figure this out. Let me see if I can get the ammo and... It, said, it specifically says pistols and submachine guns, so why wouldn't it work? Yeah, let's try the... I can't... Oh. Can't figure out why it doesn't tell me the type of ammo it uses. It's kind of dumb. It should say there somewhere. Okay, well, let's just. Uh, I said it before this. Good. It's only three bullets anyway. All right, let's try that. All right, looks like that loaded. What the heck is a zip gun anyway? Did it have a bullet in it? I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. Let's go talk to the snitch, see if we have better luck this time. I think this would be a good stopping point. If we were able to get this... Killed a rat. We've killed one type of rat. Now we can kill him. There. 
Oh, righty, 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 righty. Who's this person? Alright. He reread novels to the Duma. Duma, Conan Doyle. Ask away. What's new? Her new rumors. I hope I have better luck this time. First need to plant crops. Oh, you can literally, literally plant seeds. Okay, here he comes. Oh, that doesn't look like much of a gun. I guess we'll see how it works. Time to die. Oh, he gets first attack. That ain't cool. 99% chance to hit him. That's more like it. Try to hit him in the head. Growl! There's no ammo! What the hell type of ammo does it take? God, that's dumb. Okay. Back to trying to stab him. Oh, he doesn't seem to have that problem. We might just get him. Oh, God, so close. All right, I'm going to pause the video here and try to figure out what the bleeping bleep is the matter with my gun. All right, so I took a lot of research and looking on wikis and all kinds of crap. But what I found is that this zip gun I bought, you can go to this crafting screen and you can look under, uh, let's see, round. And there's zip gun rounds, and you could try to make it. Unfortunately, I bought, I spent everything trying to buy these ingredients, and it just said failure. So apparently, the skill associated with making ammo uh, <laughs> is a thing. <laughs> and I guess this is the only kind of ammo it can use. And I assume that that shotgun uses this, these buckshot rounds, and you can see there with a match you need to make, materials you need to make that. So basically, I am just. Utterly screwed at the moment. You know, clearly I shouldn't have given away. <laughs> you know, I should have paid more attention to this crafting system, but that's okay. You know, I feel like probably my best bet at this point would be just to keep reloading this little battle until I can just luck out and get the guy. It's pretty close. But obviously I should have been a lot more careful with the... Uh, Ugh. Let's do the aim shot. I only got one shot. Okay, took nine points of damage. And unfortunately, that's all I got for that. So switching to the knife now. Maybe I'll just get lucky. You know, sometimes it can take a long time. But yeah, he's injured. We'll see, might take several reloads, but oh yeah. Oh come on, just kill him. Ah it's gonna be this. <laughs> this could take hours of my luck. Uh, I hate to end the video on such a sh shabby note. <laughs> There might be something else in the village I could get that would help with this battle. I just don't know what. So this ammo is useless because I don't have any guns that will use it. You can't buy the type of ammo that I need for this. 
Because now I figured out how to cook anything. Yeah, yeah. But just had more ammo, you know? Never hit him like that. Have to do the aim shots. Okay, try aiming. Or... Yeah, you know, I, I don't <laughs> I don't think this is gonna happen, folks. I, you know, it kind of bugs me, but I don't just don't think there's anything I can do to survive this without better equipment or some more bullets or something. But uh, let me see what I can find in the village. I think I might have gotten the game into an unwinnable state. Oh, there's something. Stone in front of you looks like an ordinary, unassuming rock. Try, try to move the rock. Fail. Examine the rock. Oh, come on. <sighs> Crap on a stick, man. I just cannot... Can't get any luck. Okay. I guess I might be able to sell the ammo I can't use. Alright, sell that. Alright, 104. And since there's a, such a high risk of failing <laughs> trying to make ammo, I'm really just kind of perplexed here as to what I can do. I'll try it. I feel like if I just had two more bullets, you know, I might be able to do this. Okay, and then I'll save it before I try to craft it. Alright, craft the zip. Not the zip gun. Yeah, try. What am I missing? Oh, the stupid old pieces of paper. You know, unfortunately, I think it's one of those designs where you, you're so limited, you can't carry anything, but you have to have everything. <laughs> you know, if you're not... It's like you're, you're so punished if you don't have the stuff you need. Oh, look at that. Oh, whatever. Sell the herbal mix. I uh, need a few more. Oh, just one more. I'm about a corn. Okay, trade. Now, we can just keep saving and reloading until we make our round. Ah, oh, got it first time. Great. 15 experience points. And that should be in the inventory. Zip gun round. Oh, I get 10 of them too. Okay, that is considerably better. Now I should be able to win this this fight. Let's hope. Okay, let's go get his M. Go get him. That way we don't have to end our video on a crappy note. I will not be defeated by a rat, whether that is a real rat or a man named rat. Death. Okay. There we go. Oh, damn. Do you have to... Really? <laughs> really? God. All right. This is... You know, he's going to kill me. There's... I can't... He's got three... He gets three attacks. That is crap. 
Ah, oh, utter crap. All right, this is really reminding me of those old days where you just had to like save every flipping five seconds. Yeah, it's realistic though, a few bad rolls, you're done. I've never seen him do that much damage to me first round. I mean, I didn't even get to move and I was almost dead. It's gonna be. <laughs> Watch him get three crits in a row. There's one point. Okay. Now we're talking. Alright. Reload. Gets one more attack. Three times. Three. Why am I on the ground? Are you kidding me? <laughs> the, does this game just want me to rage quit? What the flip? Ah, man, alive! This is crap. Okay, one more try. They really need to work on this. I don't know what else I can do to prepare for this fight either. I just have to hope I don't get absolute crap rolls again. Love of God, man. <sighs> Miss. Okay, maybe I'll get him this time. Well, he's still alive. Maybe I can run a little bit from him. Okay, come on. Guys, still off. This is a tough fight. Oh man. <laughs> oh, what you kidding me? Ah. Oh my god. <laughs> He's still up? Wait, this must be glitched. Am I just not supposed to be able to kill him or something? What the hell was that crap? Man, do I have to save it after every round? Jesus Christ! Maybe there's something... See something in there. Maybe there's something in here that'll help. There's some waste paper, and that's not that's extremely valuable, <laughs> apparently. There's a locker in here. Where the hell are you going? Unlock. Yes. Hunter's memo. Cracks. Teach you how to craft slug. Slug ammo. Okay. That work? Must read this memo. Use a large scrap metal bullet, gunpowder, and a paper shell. I guess I already had that recipe. Okay, well. Uh, I guess we're just going to have to brute force this. This could take a while. I don't know if we're better off trying to do the headshots. I mean, he's only slightly injured. Oh, yeah. I 
I don't think there's any first aid kits or anything. Yeah, he's got me. There's no way. Okay. <laughs> Yay! It's just got to be something else I can do. But I, don't, I don't know what. Just keep at it. I feel like he's glitched though, because last time I it said he was almost done. I hit him like three times after that. Didn't seem to make any difference. Jammed. Oh, great. I gotta worry about jamming, too? Ah, reload. Uh, yeah, this is a shame, too, because, I mean, I was really enjoying this game up to this point. Yeah, I might not have the patience. <laughs> Why they thought this would be a good idea is beyond me. Oh, he lost his knife. That's good. He's injured. Come on. <laughs> How many thousands of headshots does it take to kill somebody? Almost dead. Come on. Come on. Oh, God. I can't. I just can't do it, folks. Just can't do it. There must be something I missed. I'll tell you what, we'll try it one more time. I hate that he gets the first attack every time. That's crap. Is there any reason to hit him? Maybe hit him in the hand? Is that do anything. 14 hit points of critical damage in the arm. If I can make it miss? No, he... <laughs> Injured. I just had a few more hit points even, you know? And then a foot? I think the eye? Ah-ha! <laughs> Alright, got him. Holy cow, all that for some dice and a thief passport, I guess, but there you go. So a few uh, rough edges to the game, I think that's fair to say, and I mean, there might be something if I really just turn this village upside down. I might have missed a quest or something, I don't know. You know, clearly there's something here. Some, some better armor or... It's done. Let's see what he gives me. Some rubles. 350 rubles. Wait, what was that? Wait, wait, wait. Back up. Thanks for the job. Oh. And her thing out in the waste. The bandits had their spy on our village. Now my spy in their camp. Offering the job to you. Easily gain their trust and infiltrate their gang. I agree. Sounds interesting. Looking at the card. Okay, 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 okay. Yep, 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 yep. And there you go. I think that's good. I'm glad I was finally able to defeat that <laughs> stupid rat. Wow. Uh, you know, I'm... You know, I have to say, it's either 
It could be my character's just not very well designed. You know, it could be I missed something here in the village that I was supposed to get. Or it could just be, you know, crappy luck uh, with the rolls or something. But uh, I'm not going to let that get me too down. And it does kind of remind me, let's face it, of some of those old, you know, Fallout games. I mean, I'll be honest, sometimes I would, you know, keep losing a simple battle there just because it is just based on those <laughs> random uh, dice rolls to some extent. Uh, but let's just uh, wrap up the review here. I don't want to go on all day. Uh, I think this is a really fun game. It's, again, you saw my struggles with the rat, but, you know, putting that aside, it's been a lot of fun. I like the uh, the story so far, the characters. You know, I like the, you know, I feel like they've got a, you know, fairly complex, but it's not overwhelming uh, character design system. It's interesting thinking about how I might want to fashion this character later on and, you know, I'm already thinking, like, maybe uh, my next character will have some slightly different skills. I know a little bit more now. I think about how I would, uh, you know, want to put the, uh, allocate those skill points and whatnot. And so I do say this. If you really like the Wasteland games, if you like the original Fallout games, if, uh, you know, maybe you've burned through the Pathfinder series and <laughs> you're just looking for something a little bit different, uh, I certainly recommend this. Uh, and also, if you like the Soviet perspective on the Fallout world, you know, how can you go wrong with this? Uh, but my plan is I want to continue to play this, get my character, uh, you know, through the game so I can import the character into the Trudeau grade uh, game and take it from there for the next video. <laughs> we'll see if I, we'll see how, how that goes. Uh, but anyway, yeah, yeah, good game. Definitely worth the 10 bucks or 15 bucks or whatever they're trying to sell this for. Check it out. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. And that's all for this year's episode. <laughs> you know, again, I, I apologize, folks, for these videos taking so long uh, to come out. I, I won't bore you with the details, but, you know... Just rest assured, it's not from lack of wanting to make the videos. Uh, far from it. I'd much rather be making videos, believe you me, than all this other stuff I've been having to do. Oh my God. <laughs> it's actually quite nice to sit down and play a you know, fine game like Adam. And, you know, thank you uh, to the Adam team. And, of course, thank you. Uh, you, yes, 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 you. Thank you very, 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 very much for being part of this match hat team, being part of the Rat Slayers Guild uh, for keeping these shows on the air. I mean, we're almost there, folks. What is this? Episode 4? 26 more episodes. Okay, we can do it. I know we can get to 500. Uh, but I cannot and I will not do it without you. Uh, so thank you again to everyone who has so kindly stepped up to the plate and donated to the show. Uh, if for whatever reason you have uh, held off on doing that, uh, please rectify that egregious error uh, by going to the links in the show notes to the Patreon site where you can become a member. Uh, only a buck, uh, basically a buck a month, a buck, uh, you know, four bucks a month, uh, five bucks a month. I mean, who knows? Some of you might even go as far as 10 or 20. Uh, whatever you're comfortable with, folks, you know. Uh, I don't care what the amount is. I just really uh, care about you, and your support means a lot to me. So, thank you. Yeah. With that said, what about that news from the Matt Cave? <laughs> Uh, quite a bit of good news. I mean, it's been a while, so that's one advantage of having a little space in between episodes, I guess. Uh, first up is from Punny on Discord. Uh, Punny writes in about a new Jagged Alliance game, Jagged Alliance 3. Uh, says it looks inspired by XCOM. Yes, I would agree by th uh, with that. In uh, Jagged Alliance 3, select from a huge cast of mercenaries, all with their own personalities, quirks, and backstories. Then go out and explore Grand Chien, Chien, C-H-I-E-N, as you meet new people, earn money, grow your team, and ultimately make your own decisions that will decide the country's fate. 
Play the campaign with friends on online co-op mode. Well, of course, you know Soul. And this is a by Himamot. Himamot? I'm not sure again how to pronounce this. Lots of vowels. <laughs> uh, but anyway, these are the. This is the studio that did the Surviving Mars, and uh, they did Tropico. Not the first couple, but I think uh, three up to the modern uh, times of Tropico games, which I liked. Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure I've tried Surviving Mars, but I really like those Tropicos. Those are great. So I got really high expectations for this. Uh, you might have played those old Jagged Alliance games. I guess it's where those like mid 90s, late 90s. Uh, but anyway, I'll definitely want to cover that when it comes out. You know, I, I, had, I don't think I've done a, the Jagged Alliance series at all, which is, you know, an utter crime. Uh, so maybe I'll do that for the next episode because uh, those are great games. All right, then Matt W. You can always count on Matt to provide the goods. Uh, this time he's written in about a game called Unusual Findings. Now, this is a game, it looks uh, to me a lot like the Lucasfilm classics that you hopefully have played. Games like Day of the Tentacle, Maniac Mansion, and so on. Uh, this one's about three friends who uncover mysteries in the 1980s. Follow their amazing adventures in a game where your decisions really matter. <laughs> There's that phrase again. See, be prepared to spin like a record on your incredible journey back to the era of synthesizers, VHS, rental stores, eight games, and evil alien conspiracies this is by epic llama entertainment now the uh i guess it's coming out sometime this year they don't have a date as far as i can see but you can download the demo for free so definitely go check that out and uh, be kind rewind after you're done with that demo <laughs> you know some of you will get that reference and some of you won't but uh, anyway one last item here uh, now, I don't know why I decided to showcase this game, but it, this is a Kickstarter, and it's only got three days left on it, uh, but don't worry, it's already made the goal, and, and I helped them reach that goal, of course. Now, this is Ratten, Ratten Reich. I think that's how you pronounce that. R-E, Ratten. <laughs> Maybe it's Rattan, I don't know. But anyway, Ratten Reich's how I'm going to say it. It's uh, a real-time strategy game that has absorbed some of the best ideas of the genre while also offering a unique flair and story. Um, the player takes command of a small squad of, or an entire division to fight in this ultimate war. Game empires and factions are inspired by real-world nations. Matter of fact, if your nation is not represented, you can actually uh, donate enough to the Kickstarter campaign and, and get it in there. But anyway, they say it's a grim and unforgiving world in which an ongoing war is fought between anthropomorphic rats, mice, roaches and lizards you had me at rats <laughs> uh, this is developed by ostip an austrian developer and so definitely stay on top of that if you watch this video in time uh, go chip in at the kickstarter but uh, anyway really looking forward to that and then uh, finally let's wrap it up with a quote and uh, i thought since it's a russian game kind of set in the soviet era i would try to find a quote by none other than stalin himself <laughs> it's kind of a you know, I don't know too much about this. Like I said, I've read some history, or listened to some history podcasts about the era. It's kind of a... Well, let me just read this quote to you, and then maybe you can see what you think about what it might have been like <laughs> living in uh, that era. So this is a, on a, a brainy quote. A uh, quote goes something like this. It is enough that the people know there was an election. The people who cast the votes decide nothing. The people who count the votes decide everything. So, <laughs> ponder on that, and see you guys next time.
man, a big 